The topic of discussion in this module is the metabolism of amino sugars. So what are amino sugars over here? One or more hydroxyl groups of a monosaccharide are replaced by amino groups to form D-glucosamine and D-galactosamine, mannosamine and sialic acid. All these four are called as amino sugars. There are present as constituents of glycosaminoglycans, glycolipids and glycoproteins. And these amino sugars are also found in some of the oligosaccharides and also in antibiotics. Amino groups of amino sugars are sometimes acetylated to form N-acetyl D-glucosamine. Fructose 6-phosphate is the major substrate or the precursor for the synthesis of glucosamine and N-acetyl galactosamine and N-acetyl neuraminic acid. So here the N-acetyl neuraminic acid is actually the derivative of N-acetyl mannose and pyruvic acid. Here 20% of the glucose is utilized for the synthesis of amino sugars which mostly occurs in the connective tissues. Now let us talk about the synthesis of amino sugars. All amino acids are derived from glucose. Glucose gets converted to glucose 6-phosphate. This glucose 6-phosphate is isomerized to fructose 6-phosphate. And the fructose 6-phosphate so formed gets converted glucose amine 6-phosphate which is catalyzed by an enzyme amino transferase. So amino group is derived from the amide group of glutamine and this is an irreversible and the rate limiting step in the synthesis of amino sugars. So here the product which is glycose amine 6-phosphate gets converted to glucose amine 1-phosphate or it may get acetylated to acetyl-CoA to form N-acetyl glucosamine 6-phosphate. This N-acetyl glucosamine 6-phosphate is converted to N-acetyl glucosamine 1-phosphate or it may get epimerized to N-acetyl mannosamine 6-phosphate by an enzyme called as epimerase. This N-acetyl mannosamine 6-phosphate when reacted with the phosphoenol pyruvate, it forms N-acetyl neuraminic acid 9-phosphate which ultimately used for the synthesis of amino sugars that is sialic acid, gangliosides and glycoproteins. Here, the active form of amino sugar namely UDP N-acetyl glucosamine is formed from N-acetyl glucosamine 1-phosphate with the help of an enzyme mutase as well as pyrophosphorylase. UDP N-acetyl glucosamine is then epimerized to UDP N-acetyl galactosamine. So both of these products are used for the synthesis of glycoproteins as well as glycosaminoglycans which are referred to as GACs. Glucosamine 1-phosphate is converted to UDP glucosamine which is ultimately used for the synthesis of glycosaminoglycans. So this is what is about overall view of amino sugar synthesis. So what about the clinical significance which is related to amino sugar synthesis? If you know about mucopolysaccharidosis which are lysosomal storage disorders caused by an enzyme defects in the degradation of glycosaminoglycans known as mucopolysaccharidosis. It is characterized by an accumulation of GACs in various tissues that results in skeletal deformities as well as mental retardation. So here the following table what you can see over here represents various mucopolysaccharidosis with defective enzymes and also accumulated products. If you see the syndrome called as Hurler's, in the Hurler syndrome, the enzyme defect is alpha-ideuronidase 
and the product accumulated is heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate. And the next one is Hunter's disease where the deficiency of the enzyme is iduronate sulfidase and the accumulated product is heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate. And the next one is called as mucolipidosis 8. This mucolipidosis 8 is because of the deficiency of an enzyme beta glucuronidase where the accumulated products are also heparin sulfate and dermatin sulfate. And other diseases like San Filippo's type A is because of the heparin sulfamidase and the accumulated product in this disease is heparin sulfate. And in type B, the enzyme deficiency is N-acetylglucosamine and in San Filippo's type C, the enzyme deficiency is acetyl coenzyme A alpha glucose amide acetyl transferase where the product accumulated is also heparin sulfate. So, in other type which is called as San Filippo's type D, the enzyme deficiency is N acetyl glucose amine 6 sulfidase and the product accumulated is heparin sulfate. So, in San Filippo's disease type A, B, C, D, the accumulated product is heparin sulfate. And the next one is Marcus type A, where the enzyme deficiency is galactose 6 sulfidase and the accumulated product is chondritin 6 sulfate and chondritin 4 sulfate. And next one is in the type B, the enzyme deficiency is beta galactosidase and the accumulated product is keratin sulfate. So, the manifestations are especially seen in the skin. So, this is what is about mucopolysaccharidosis.